Welcome to Tourism Talk. I'm your host, Mary Hammond, with the Paducah Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I'm excited today to have two guests, Stephanie Graves and Michael Terra. And they're both Lower Town artists. And you know, before we get into our uh, segment here of talking about the Lower Town Art and Music Festival, which is coming up just real soon, I want you to know a little bit about these artists so that when you see them on the on the street you won't come I know you just like someone's come up to you after the City Commission I know you but so they actually know you and can start a conversation with you let's Stephanie tell us a little bit about yourself I would love to I'm uh, from central Indiana so I'm a Hoosier born and bred Yay. Yay. <laughs> yes I graduated from IU School of Nursing so I started my professional mm -hmm. life out as a as a nurse and worked as a nurse for almost 10 years mm -hmm. and then uh, decided I wanted my master's degree so I went back to school this time Boston University and I have my MBA with a concentration in healthcare management from there and as you can see there are no art degrees in that mix at all that I always uh, painted, I always loved art, and that was something I did the, on the side always. And uh, so continued to paint, started taking watercolor lessons right after nursing school, and continued to do that on my own. Uh, started uh, exhibiting, um, oh, probably mid-80s or so, and just gradually worked up to where I am today. In 2004, I left my day job and went to uh, uh, art full-time. So here I am. I love that story and you know we talk about Paducah being some place that um, inspires people and no matter what your job is that that we all have a creative spirit inside of us absolutely and you know you let yours surface and I love that and I hope in Lower Town when we talk about the workshops and the classes I hope that that others will hear your story and know you know they've always been someone who doodled and draw uh, drew and um, uh, just saw pictures in their in their mind, right? And so that's a, that's a real inspiration. I hope that you will pass that along. That's great. And how long have you lived in Paducah? My husband and I moved here in 2007, mm -hmm. actually just before the Lower Town uh, Art and Music Festival that year. Right. Uh, and, and we live on Eighth Street. Our studio is Quango Studios. We're the third house from the corner of Martin Luther King on Eighth yeah. Street. Oh, and I love it that that the part of the street has been refreshed and revitalized with the building and the revitalization in that block. Yes, and good neighbors. Yes, we have we have <laughs> good fantastic neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> you can tell Tracy's just out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael, tell us tell us about your family. I love your family, Every, all of them, even your mother-in-law. <laughs> I have a great family. Yeah. I am totally blessed by being surrounded by strong, intelligent, uh, caring women. It's it's amazing. Um, we bring uh, two daughters, one of which has actually graduated college and recently has left uh, about a week ago to, to find her fortune on the West Coast. Um, and uh, my youngest daughter and my wife have teamed up together to open the Cookie Bar, where they are making giant, uh, organic, amazing cookies fresh. Uh, each day, and uh, so that's that's a wonderful project. This is where Steffi and I go. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me hungry. <laughs> they are um, good. They're good for you, cookies. They are. It's 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 uh, delicious cookies that are real food. Um, we homeschool, mm -hmm. so uh, this this project, this business project, uh, is a great homeschooling lab for so many reasons, for Zan mm -hmm. and. Uh, Zan is also a member of the Symphony Chorus. Uh, she's a volunteer at the Quilt Museum. She uh, is involved in Market House Theater. And uh, right now, she's doing her algebra homework because that's the last thing we did before <laughs> I left the house. Um, Victoria is, uh, is a wonderful baker and uh, she's an inspired educator and she takes the lead on most of the homeschool education. She's also my partner in our art business. Uh, even though we've relocated to Lower Town and Paducah, which I am delighted to say is my home, um, we do 30 shows around the country nationally every year about. Uh, we leave next week for a show in Baton Rouge. We'll be in Wichita the week after that. We'll be in Colorado and 
Seattle, and we, it just, it's, mm -hmm. we go literally all over the country. So we have this neat base to work from. Uh, and she's the one who finds shows and book shows and mm -hmm. amazing doing travel arrangements. I don't know how we could do it without her. Uh, um, you haven't said a thing about, about your work, though. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm a sculptural ceramicist, uh, which basically means I, I squish mud and I stick it on the wall and hope people come and like it. Um, I have two major bodies of work. One is very fun and whimsical. Um, and uh, if you're drinking milk, you'll snort the milk up out of your nose laughing. It's, it's that kind of funny. Uh, the other that I do is very lifelike, um, rendered very, very realistically, mm -hmm. and usually incorporates texts that I author myself. So very emotionally engaging and uh, provocative in a, in a thoughtful way. So uh, you reach all of our emotions. And well, you can't miss uh, the, uh, your studio coming down on 7th Street. 7th Street. 7th Street, and you'll see, uh, you'll see a, is it ceramic? Your, uh, your sculpture that's out front? The big one? Yes. It's not. I actually uh, did a temporary sculpture, mm -hmm. temporary sculpture, um, <laughs> just before the Arts and Music Festival last year, yes, which was shortly one. after mm -hmm. we moved in. And uh, it's about a seven and a half foot tall Easter Island type head uh, up on an abandoned pole from the city. And, uh, and I changed the hat seasonally. Uh -huh. It currently has a giant flower pot upside down as a hat with flowers coming out of the, the top. So it's, it's a good That's landmark. Good. That's good. It is a landmark. Of course, uh, Lower Town, 26 square block area, um, in, uh, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, our very first neighborhood with very cool houses. And, and we all know the neighborhood had had, had uh, ups and downs. Um, they had a, a good core group that lived there for a long time and had a had dreams of revitalization, had done their own and dreamt of their neighbors joining them. And then here comes the artist relocation program and Mark Baroni having his, his dreams of having an, a whole neighborhood of artists. And look what we have. What did I read in the uh, uh, 50 homes that have a working artist, more than 50 homes that have a working artist living there. Right. And I mean, that's, that's great. And, and over 70 artists total, total, um, not quite that high. Okay. I think it. I think it is more like fifty or so artists in total. That's and, great. And I think there are probably around twenty or so studios and galleries. Sure. But I mean that that is a high concentration in any area. It is inspiring. Yes. It's inspiring to be there and, and feel the creativity. I thought it was um, uh, put very well by a, a filmmaker friend, Raúl, who comes for the P uh, Paducah uh, Film Society's Rivers Edge Film Festival. And he said, you know, just to be here, it just feels good. He's, and he comes from New York, I mean, the Tribeca wow. area. And he said, just to be wow. here, just to, um, he, it, it is restoring. You know, I always loved it when we were uh, doing taglines to go with our, our brand, and I always loved restoring creative spirits. And then that, <laughs> that really is what is happening in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a good thing. Well, so we're taking the long way around here to get to tell you about the Lower Town Art and Music Festival because you can be inspired as well and help celebrate the arts, hear fabulous music, uh, rub shoulders with the artists, uh, try your hand, buy goods, buy good food. My gosh, the taste of Paducah that I hear, it's being uh, a, a rebirth of the taste of Paducah. Yes. It, it's true. We... Um it's actually very, very exciting. Um, many festivals that you might find yourself at, uh, if you actually accidentally are hungry, it's pretty hard not to poison yourself with something fried and dipped in powdered sugar and then fried again. And, and it's, it's kind of a tough thing. This year's festival, every body selling food is going to be one of your neighbors. Mm -hmm. It's one of, the, uh, one of the good restaurants in town, and you'll be able to actually get uh, sampling for a modest amount of money mm -hmm. of some of the fabulous food that they're uh, known for. And um, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's going to be a whole lineup of, of food booths and you're going to be able to go, I'll have one of those and I've always wanted to eat there so I'll try this. And it's, it's going to be 
pretty cool. We used to say small portions at small prices, and that's really what it is. And I won't na let you make you name them all because there are 11, and these are your favorite restaurants, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I love it. Uh, it is um, really the basic of Paducah. These are our homegrown restaurants. It'll, right. it'll be good. Now, tell me, all right, the dates of the Art and Music Festival, May 21st through the 23rd. That's right. Um, the, will the streets be blocked off in Lower Town? How will this, how will this work? Okay, let's, let's start like we're coming in. Okay. The streets that are going to be blocked off, and you can approach the, the festival in six ways. There will be six mm -hmm. entryways. None of them are particularly, I wouldn't say one is uh, the main entrance versus another, but the, the entry points are Fifth and Madison. Uh, 6th and Monroe, 7th and Monroe, 8th and Madison, uh, Harrison and 6th and Harrison and 7th. So those, I believe I've got all six, you did. I? Yeah. Yes, good. So let's see, all right, let's, let's picture in our minds. So you've got the streets coming out from the river, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th. Exactly. And then uh, you've got Jefferson, Monroe, Madison, keep Har Harrison, Harrison, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Right, so kind of get that in your head and picture where this is. You got the heart of it. Texaco Station is kind of the heart, yes. right? Yes, it's right in the middle. And right in the middle. And so this, there'll be information there. Anybody want? Yes, there will be an information booth there in front of the Texaco right. Station. And right across from that will be the main stage, as it's always been. Mm -hmm. Yes, big stage. Yes. And, and um, got a good partnership with the symphony, down, I'm hearing, about the, uh, with the music. Um, are you at liberty to tell us any of the music? Not no. quite yet. Well, I just know that uh, Darlene knows her music. She knows musicians. And every year there's been good music there. And it's been a wide variety. Right. And I think in the past when I've been there, it you kind of it, it goes with the day. You know, um, there was yoga in the morning one Saturday. You think, are you doing yoga in the morning? Um, I bet they we do. We haven't got yoga confirmed yet. so I bet they do. Yeah. They're doing it anyway. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then there, was, there, there was music that just sort of started your day. I mean, it did, mm -hmm. and it just, it built the day. The music set the pace for the day, and I, that's how I picture it, and I'm sure that will once again. Right. Um, and I, I think it'll be really good. The neighbors are all part of the team. Um, well, one of, the, one of the things that, uh, one of the changes for this year for the festival is it is no longer uh, a city function. Yes. The festival is actually uh, sponsored mm -hmm. by the Neighborhood Association. And everyone working on the festival this year is a volunteer. And um, the, the amount of work that's being accomplished is huge. And it's all volunteers, all the neighbors. It's not just mm -hmm. the artists, right. but it's just the, the people who live next sure. door and down the street and right. up on the second floor. And That's how you take ownership of a festival. And, uh, and an outgrowth of that feature mm -hmm. is that um, the festival this year is completely targeted on Paducah as a regional center. We're talking about regional richness mm -hmm. for this year. So all of the musicians and all of the artists and all of the food and even the guys who are making the beer and the wine that oh, we're selling mm -hmm. all come from within a 200 mile radius of Paducah. So we've really said, you know, yeah, we can get stuff from Chicago mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. LA mm -hmm. or whatever, but we're not gonna do that for this festival. This festival is about how cool it is to be in Paducah and how rich this neighborhood is. I love it. And if I can just add to that, yes. I, I think this festival gives us a chance to really highlight everything that we love about this area. Mm -hmm. And as a, a person moving here from uh, Chicago, and I've lived in Boston, uh, this is just a real gem of a place that my family in Chicago can't always believe that. Is it, you know, do you really like it down there? And we assure them that, yes, we do. Um, by <laughs> focusing on this 200 mile radius, we hope that everybody that comes to the festival will end up being part of our champions that go out to their friends and, and their families. Very smart. So that uh, everybody outside mm -hmm. of the area comes to know what a wonderful little pocket mm -hmm. of the country this is and sees all the talent and all of the things that we have to offer. I'm not sure that everybody knows about Western Kentucky we, like we do. They may know about Appalachia well, and the crafts sure. and the arts that take place there, but Western Kentucky is special 
in and of its own right, and we hope to show that. We've always been a, um, a center for trade from uh, the days when the river was the main transportation, the railroad, the interstate, and uh, we all know that our population just explodes on the weekends when people come here to right. shop and eat. Um, but you know, sometimes we wonder, are they making it down into our downtown? Are they making it into lower town? And just as I have always felt that um, the murals in downtown after dinner helped people to um, take ownership, to, to uh, come back downtown and to claim it, reclaim it. I really hope that this festival and concentrating on the way you are with regionally, that the people in the region will, will claim this and even even if they don't live in Paducah, when they have people visiting them, that they will come here and they will continue to come back to Paducah. They've made friends there, it feels good there, uh, all their memories are good memories and I, I think this is really good. In our economy, in today's world, this is a very smart, smart move. And, and we're, we're, we, we're also focusing on, um, let, me, let me see, how, how can I put this? Um, this isn't a Lower Town Arts mm -hmm. Festival. This is the Paducah Arts and Music Festival that happens in the Lower Town neighborhood. Right. And um, so it really mm -hmm. is not just this one little mm -hmm. corner of, that, that's where it's happening, but we've got great community support uh, from all over town. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's been very gratifying. And that's what we're partnering with sure. the symphony, we're yes. partnering with the National Quilt Museum, mm -hmm. we're partnering with the Carson Center, Market House Theater, we're reaching out to other nonprofits like uh, Hotel Metropolitan, okay. we're hoping that they will have a soul food booth at, mm -hmm. in the food vendor area. Uh, the library has expressed an interest in having a, a booth there at the festival. So really involvement of all the other arts and a lot of the community organizations within Paducah to, to help bring the vitality yes. and mm -hmm. uh, ownership, as you say, to this festival. That's uh, fabulous. Now, um, last year, in, there weren't as many uh, booths brought in from outside right. the area, but the artists did very well. Um, people got into the galleries rather than maybe just staying on the streets. Will there be that the mix this year as well? I mean, uh, will there be some tents on the streets? Oh, absolutely. There'll be the mix. Right. And I think uh, it's uh, we're trying to get that right mix. Right. Last year they did focus on the galleries mm -hmm. and the people that mm -hmm. were here. Uh, this year we feel like from uh, some of the comments that right. were made from the public last year, I think that, that uh, people wanted to see more on mm -hmm. the street. And so we're taking that to heart and putting this festival together mm -hmm. this year. We will have 32 artists from okay. within that 200 mile radius that have been juried in and are all set to go. Plus there will be some of us artists, I will be out on the street in a booth, my, okay. my studio is off to the side, so mm -hmm. I will be down in the mix with all the other folks on the street. Um, and then we'll have 10 of the a la carte demonstration cards that Jeff Spicer is doing. I love the those. Museum. Yes. yes, so you'll see those intermixed great. with the tent. So yeah. you're going to see a lot of demonstrations. Those will be, there'll be 10 cards, so there'll be 10 demonstration goings, okay. going on most of the time. We hope that some of the artists on the street, some of the gallery owners, I'll will be, be doing, doing demos. Yes, all, Michael all will be doing demonstration. You watch him squish his mud, and make little pinch faces and things. Um, so lots to see, sure. opportunities for people to get their hands dirty, get in there and, and do some some things. We're going to have uh, a chalk, excuse me, a sidewalk chalk mm -hmm. uh, event where you can buy a square of sidewalk for ten dollars, and uh, do it on your own, work with your kids, whatever, and, you know, anybody can buy that and then the proceeds will go to a local charity. Sure. That's great. Yes. In, in terms of uh, street level things to be excited about, um, uh, the culinary department here at uh, Western Kentucky Technical College is going to do a Top Chef double elimination oh. contest right there on Very the street. Very cool. So over the course of the weekend, sure. there'll be this whole thing where the mystery ingredients in a basket and what are you going to make with it? And uh, you've got this amount of time. And, and uh, so, sure. you know, we're really, there's going to be live buskers, uh, street performers, mm -hmm. wandering through the crowd. Uh, we're going to have balcony theater, oh. um, little vignettes, short sure. comedy vignettes. Mm -hmm. 
uh, staged in the second story balconies mm -hmm. of different homes in the neighborhood. Um, and that will go on throughout the entire three days of the festival? Throughout the neighborhood? Yes. One of the, one of the tough things uh, with the festival mm -hmm. is that um, there are limitations about where you can block it off and that yes. sort of thing, controlling the flow and it may just look like Harrison Street to you, but it has some small number in a county register that means whatever. So, right. um, ultimately, um, the thing to know, though, is 40% of the studios are not inside the boundaries of the festival. Mm -hmm. They're half a block outside, left or right, mm -hmm. or, or a little to the north or something. So, a lot of activity is going to happen outside of the barricades and so we need to have people know that you need to wander out and look for the big mm -hmm. sign and the the balloons and the flags and uh, and there will be a couple of the balcony theaters outside of the sure. boundaries or one of the key things to get people to know how to navigate their way around i mean you obviously can't get lost in lower mm -hmm. town at least i don't think you can but <laughs> to get people to understand where all the activity is happening. We're going to have volunteers that we're calling Yellow Pages, and they will oh, be dressed yellow in pages. yellow. Yes, Cute. they're pages cool. in yeah. a yellow t-shirt sure. and hopefully a hat. And it will have a series of, or have one big question mark, and it says, ask me on it. So we're expecting people to go up and ask them information. We'll also have maps on signs very sure. prominently placed, so people will know where the galleries are, where the entertainment is, what entertainment is on what stage at any particular time. Mm -hmm. A lot of signage, a lot of uh, uh, people on the street to help okay. you yes. know where things are and help you get there. There's plenty of parking uh, in, the, in the area, right. especially surrounding the, uh, the heart of Lower Town, so there shouldn't be any problem from the, from the bank's parking lots to the old hotel. Um, and there's, there's no problem in parking, but as people are walking in to the festival, they will get glimpses of what's happening and, and see the studios. Right. I love that idea of the yellow pages. <laughs> that is very, that's very, that's very yeah. cool. So what are the hours? Let's see, it starts on the, on the 20, 21st, and that's a Friday. Right. Uh, in years past, if you remember, this was always done on Memorial Day, but yes. we decided to move it up this year because we understand that people like to go to the lake or they have other activities and we want them to be able to do that. So, and it's, it's best, I think, for everybody, us included, to have it on a different date. This year is the weekend before Memorial Day, the 21st, we're kicking things off at three o'clock. Okay. And uh, entertainment will start, the food vendors will be, you know, be there up and running, the artists, everything will mm -hmm. go at three o'clock. That goes until 10 in the evening. Artists will have their tents open until eight, however, mm -hmm. because obviously the main attraction will sure. be uh, music. Good after music. Dark. Shut down and everybody be a part of that. Yes. 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 Good. And then on Saturday we begin again at eleven o'clock, mm -hmm. and artists go again until eight, and then music until ten o'clock. Okay. Sunday we start again at noon and go until five. Good. That's a great schedule. So. Um, Hope you've got that. Uh, May 21st through the 23rd, the Lower Town Arts and Music Festival. If you want to get more information, I know you've already got it bookmarked, paducah.travel, and we want to make sure and get everything that you've got on our website so people can right. go in here, go to our calendar of events, uh, click on that, and any maps that you have that you, when, when, as we get closer, let's put it on there so people can download it. We, you know, everybody's got the printer now, eight and a half by 11, print out something that they can walk up and, and have a little bit of information already. Part of uh, our commitment to being green yes. at this festival, Good. which includes the, uh, the recycling folks, are going to actually take the recycled, recyclable parts that mm -hmm. are that are me uh, generated by the festival goers and they're going to create a sculpture on the spot oh. over the course of the three days out of all the recyclables so that's going to be fun but um, in addition to that we're not actually going to uh, sacrifice the lives of a bunch of trees by printing up programs right. we're actually going to have at every intersection and at every entrance mm -hmm. on every block uh, banners okay. that will have the schedule and will have the maps on them so that you can just arrive without 
anything other than a smile on your face. Oh, that's, that's And very good. Uh, you'll be able to sure. see very quickly what's happening sure. in the hour that you're standing there and which way to go. Gosh. So it'll be really yes, easy. That we, is great. And you know. um, we've gotten the Paducah dot Mobi now so that if you're on your smartphone, it doesn't have all of the graphics. Uh, it's just down and dirty. It's got your information. It downloads very quickly. We'll do that. You won't have oh. to print out eight and a half by 11. You just have your smartphone there and you'll just look on there at the paducah.travel. But if you're on your phone, it goes directly to your phone. It takes away all of those fancy graphics. And you'll have all that schedule right there. Walk around, be very green. <laughs> so oh, that's cool. I know it. It is cool. And I'm, I'm very excited. And I think you all have, have just uh, gotten your arms around this festival. And it's, uh, yeah, it's good. We're, uh, we'll all be a part of it. If someone wants to be a volunteer, they can, they can uh, pick up the phone and call. Absolutely. Yes. It, uh, we won't give your, your phones right now. We're running out of time here. But you know what? If you call 1-800-PADUCAH, it doesn't matter where you are if you're in town. It's just easy to remember. Get our office. We'll connect you right away with Stephanie and Michael. If you want to be, an, uh, be a volunteer, you want to put on yellow, big question mark. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Or if you want to help in any way, they're glad to have you. You want to be a part of this movement. You want to be inspired as well and awaken your creative spirit. And so I hope you will, everyone who's watching this, and uh, will come down and start to feel the movement that's happening in Lower Town. Thank you so much for being with me today. It's been, uh, it, I mean, it's been inspiring to, inspiring to me with what you're up to. And I hope to be right there in the middle of it myself. Well, you we will. hope to see you there. And oh, thank yes. you so much for having us on your program and oh, the opportunity. Thanks. This oh, is wonderful. It's great. Thank you. We'll see you again. We'll see everybody again. We'll see you yes. down in Lower Town, May 21st through 23rd. Thanks for joining us.